everybody here we are on facebook live and i bet you're thinking oh my gosh is it still saturday why on earth are they going live on sunday well yesterday the team of volunteers and i we met together to cut out all the crafts for after christmas for new year up until easter can you believe that and I am so thankful to the amazing volunteers at Daniel's Den who have just stepped up so much this year to bring so much joy to so many of you. Um, I, I, words fail me in what to say to all these people, but thank you so much to all our teams of volunteers and staff who have worked throughout the pandemic and continue to work. And yesterday, we had lots of fun, but obviously it meant we couldn't bring our Facebook Live to you. But Funny Bunny and I are here today and we're going to show you the next craft using our paper plates. And today is paper plate four and we are doing Baby Jesus. And I know that some of you have already made this, which is fantastic. Good morning, Lisa. Hope you're well. We miss you yesterday. I hope your girls are well. Now, Lisa is one of our fab volunteers. We have so many. And the wonderful thing is that the ripples that go out of Daniel's Den go in so many ways. Hi, Anu. Really nice to see you. Another family that have just received one of our craft packs and have already started joining in. So it is just fantastic see the ways in which we can reach out to families even in the midst of being in tier four i don't know how you're feeling today about being in tier four it's i know a lot of our plans have had to change but you know what we just have to go with the flow i'm looking out for everybody's safety is the most important thing i know we all have different opinions but i think that go with the flow is really important and my gosh, this morning I was lying in bed watching Andrew Marr. I love watching that programme. And it just I was just reflecting on different personalities and how we respond to news. And many of you will know I'm definitely a glass half full sort of person. And I look for the opportunities, even in the midst of challenges. And we all need each other, don't we? We need each other to encourage one another. And um, I was just thinking... Of, this morning I was getting out my nativity set. I have a box that I bought for my first child's first Christmas. So it's 24 years old, this box. And here is Mary, can you see? And um, she's the mother of baby Jesus. And I've just got this box out now. And I wonder what she was thinking. On Friday, we celebrate the birth of Jesus. And um, just thinking about Mary makes me think about everybody who's pregnant at this moment in time and for those of you who are watching who have given birth to a child I wonder what you were thinking in those days before you gave birth you're probably thinking have I got my bag packed um I hope we can get to the hospital on time if you already had older children it's like who's going to look after the children well Mary in the story it tells us that she was riding on a donkey to Bethlehem. Can you imagine being nine months pregnant and um, your partner or husband told you, come on, get on this donkey, we're going on a journey. I know that I would not have been very happy. And um, so it's a poignant moment to think of all those pregnant women who are very heavily pregnant thinking and remembering those times or praying for those who are about to give birth. On Wednesday, we had our first Bumps, Babies and Brushes session, and it was lovely to reach out to people who are pregnant or have just given birth. And, and that's where our thoughts are today. It's about the birth of baby Jesus. So I'm going to put my screen down now, and I'm going to go through our next paper plate project, which is making the stable and making a little manger of baby Jesus. So I'm going to put these things down. Funny Bunny's going to watch and then I'm going to show you. Now I know some of you have got the pack at home. If you haven't, here we are. So you need a paper plate. You need some crayons. I've got brown and black. 
we've got two strips of brown paper. Um, you can make these yourself. I've got some straw. I've got a baby Jesus cut out, but you could easily draw one yourself. And most important, we've got a star. And apparently, according to the news, either tonight or tomorrow night, there's going to be a Christmas star in the sky. Now, it's something to do with Jupiter and something else. I don't know. But anyhow, check that out. Look at the sky tonight and see if you can see a bright shining star or tomorrow night. Maybe somebody can share that later. So we've got our plate. We fold it in half. Can you see like this? I think you're all getting the message, aren't you, about our um, about our crafts. And the bottom half, I'm going to colour brown. This is going to be the straw of the stable. Now, I don't know where you gave birth to your children. I gave birth to my children in Central Middlesex Hospital. And I didn't notice any straw on the floor at all. In fact, it was perfectly clean, hospital clean. Um, so there is the floor. And here we're told that the birth happened at night, but we, we don't know. But I don't know when you gave birth, whether or not it was daytime, nighttime. All my children um, were born during the day. In fact, they were born in the morning. I'm a real morning person. So maybe even then they were fitting into my time schedule. I know they woke me up in the night. And my second child, she was born six weeks early and woke me up in the early hours of the morning saying hey up oh, mum i want to come anyhow we have these two strips of brown paper now you can either use scissors or you can rip these in two can you see so we're going to make one two and then the next one i'm just going to rip it you can rip or you can cut it and the and one of these i'm going to cut in half so that one you can you can leave to the side. So we are going to make the stable. My gosh, here we go. Let's have a look. So we've got one there, one there, and here is the roof. Can you see? I've already seen some of you. You've made these, and they look fantastic. And the one thing I love about our crafts is that we put together all the pieces, and yet this is different and I just love that I, I just think it's great and um, there's no right or wrong way of doing this so look there is the stable can you see and I bet the stable roof and um, where baby Jesus was born I wonder if it had some holes in it and whether or not there was some leaks I guess there could have been some water dripping down I don't know but anyhow, here, we're going to put the straw on the floor of the stable. Here we are. Here's our straw. Normally at Daniel's Den, when we do our nativity play, I have a bag of chopped up um, paper. But for many of you, you probably don't know that I grew up on a farm. So we didn't have stables, but we certainly had sheds. And when you go in there with the straw, it's absolutely beautiful when fresh straw has been laid out. But it's not always like that. Um, hopefully, when baby Jesus was born, there would be fresh straw laid out by the innkeeper. I don't know. Um, but so here and here is the manger. This is the manger where baby Jesus was born. And um, it was a feeding trough. Can you believe that all the food for the animals were put in there? So I'm going to stick the manger here on the floor and in the manger there would be some hay. Now hay is different to straw. Straw is from wheat or barley but hay is grass that has been dried and it's much softer. So look there is the manger for the baby. Can you see it? So simple to make this but there is the baby that there is the manger where the baby was going to be born and Mary would be there and where's Joseph here's Joseph look and they'd be waiting for baby Jesus I don't know if you can remember what it was like when your baby was born but I don't think there are many babies that were born in a stable there'd be oh let's have a look I'm looking at my little model there'd be some sheep there can you see the sheep who knows what sheep what noise sheep made they go bah, bah. so the sheep would be there 
and there will be the donkey that we made last week. This was a carried baby Jesus going, it all, it all. So there we are. But where is our baby Jesus? Well, I've got a little baby Jesus here that fits in with my set. I don't know whether you've got a nativity set. Um, I'm going to set mine up later. But here is our baby Jesus. If you want, you can colour in the face. You could colour in the in the cloths if you want. I don't know what colour they were. But there's baby Jesus. And look, I'm going to put him lying in the manger, fast asleep. As we know, though, not all newborn babies sleep so quietly. I'm sure there would be lots of noise going on. There'd be the sheep and the donkey. Mary certainly would not have been silent giving birth. Those of us who have given birth, we know it's not a silent matter, is it? But here we are. Here is the beautiful family. And of course, God put an amazing star in the sky. And here I've got a beautiful big star. I know that there are stars in the path. But look, there is the star pointing down to baby Jesus with his mother Mary's earthly father, Joseph, and the sheep and the donkey. I don't know whether you've made one of these crafts, but I love it. I just love the fact that we can make these simple things out of a paper plate. And Funny Bunny loves it too. And you know what? I've been reflecting on this birth today and just thinking about all the disruptive plans that so many people have and people being all alone and lonely and I don't know, I just think plans have been so thrown up in the air, haven't they, that coming to terms with it is quite hard and I'm just thinking about Mary and her life and giving birth in a stable, how I'm sure she didn't have a birth plan like we did or things like that, that, that Jesus was born into a sort of chaotic environment. And the chaos that's going on in the world today, um, I know that many of us, we all come from different religious backgrounds, but down the day, our foundations are based on the birth of Jesus. They are Christian in foundation. And the fact that Christ came for the whole world not just a particular group of people, but came to be the light of the world. And I think we need some of that light in our world today. And our prayer is that you will know something of the light, that in the midst of all the darkness and all the challenges that are going on, that we can see some glimmers of hope. This coming Wednesday at two o'clock, we are going on our last trip of 2020 for Daniel's Den. I don't know whether you've joined us to the beach and to the zoo. We went to Lapland, didn't we, a couple of weeks ago. Well, this Wednesday, 23rd of December at 2 o'clock, we are going to Bethlehem. Now, if you've signed up for our Zoom sessions, you can come and join the Zoom session. You can make a little nativity scene in your house. It doesn't have to be anything special. I'm going to be a shepherd with some sheep and Funny Buddy's going to be helping me with the sheep. And we are going to tell the story about the birth of Jesus. We've got PowerPoints, we've got games, they'll be singing. If you've signed up for our Zoom session, you will get the link. If you haven't got the link, message me. I will check you're on the list and you'll get a link. But we will be streaming our Zoom session right here on Facebook Live so you can join in as well and it'll be available to watch later on. But you will experience the Christmas story like never before. And there'll be opportunities for people to show their crafts. And um, if, you, if you're if you not in the Zoom session, please take some photographs of your home. I wonder how many stables we can recreate to recreate Bethlehem. And then, um, you know, we, we just want to bring it into your homes. And for those who are alone, I guess if you're watching with children, you're not going to be alone at Christmas. You'll have your children. And however you're feeling, our prayer is for you to experience something of the love, the peace and the joy of Christmas. And I just wanted to share something, share something with you. And this morning, I've really been challenged to think about personalities. We are all different with all our different skills and how we celebrate things, whether or not we celebrate religious festivals or not. 
we do them in different ways. But many of you know that I've really enjoyed doing some crafting this year. And I'm going to show you something that I've made for our volunteers just to say thank you for the joy that they've brought this year. And I just want to share it with you. I want to put the screen down. And I have made these Christmas tree decorations. Can you see? And can you see they spell the word joy, J-O-Y. And I bought these letters in the summer because I know that our volunteers brought so much joy to so many people throughout lockdown and they continue to bring so much joy. And this is a very short word, it's a very simple word. And for me personally, this is what it spells, put Jesus first, others second and yourself last. And that brings joy. Jesus first, others second, yourself last. And yet again, I want to thank all our volunteers and our staff members and everybody else. And for you, for sharing your photographs, for sharing your videos, for being involved, for, for sharing that joy together. And I think that's a real celebration at this Christmas time. So at that point, I'm going to end now. And hopefully, Bunny Bunny and I will see you as we go to Bethlehem this Wednesday, 2 till 3. Spread the message, encourage other people to watch and join in. And we just pray you have a really great day. So bye. Bye.